Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find close to a thousand post videos and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, a nurse practitioner with the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, medics and survival scenarios have to deal with major injuries and serious infections. Sometimes infections aren't serious to begin with, but worsen if they're not treated. Now, some of these infections involve the urinary tract. Urine directly from the bladder is generally sterile, but most women have experienced a urinary tract infection, otherwise known as UTI, at one point or another despite this. The areas that are most commonly contaminated are the bladder, which holds the urine, and the urethra, the tube that drains the bladder. Although men can also get bladder infections, called cystitis by the way, their urethra is much longer and bacteria are much less likely to reach the bladder. If untreated, these types of infections may ascend all the way up to the kidneys via tubes called ureters, which cause an infection known as pyelonephritis. Once in the kidneys, it can make its way to the bloodstream and lead to shock or worse. Each type of UTI manifests in more or less specific signs and symptoms, depending on which part of the urinary tract is infected. Inflammation of the urethra, called urethritis, can be caused by E. coli, gonorrhea, herpes, and other bacteria and viruses. Sufferers will feel a burning sensation with urination. This is called dysuria. Males may have a urethral discharge, while women with certain sexually transmitted infections may notice a foul discharge from the vagina. Bladder infections are characterized by pelvic pressure, lower abdominal pain, and frequency of urination. Some people may feel an urgent need to go without warning. That's called urgency. But notice that the stream of urine is slow to start that's called hesitancy. Now, the urine itself may be cloudy or it could be red tinged uh, with blood or have a strong odor or all of the above. Now, once the infection reaches the kidney, other signs and symptoms are going to become apparent. Things like fever and chills are common. Pain on the flank. This is something that you'll see with a kidney infection. Normally, it'll be noticeable only on one side and you can elicit it by tapping the flank slightly right at the level of the lowest rib with the side of a closed fist. This will elicit no response in a healthy patient, but someone with an infection is going to grimace and flinch, it's gonna hurt. Kidney stones could be mistaken for a kidney infection as they also cause tenderness in this area, but they are less likely to cause fever, less likely to cause fever. Treatment revolves around the vigorous administration of fluids. Lots of water will help flush out the infection by decreasing the concentration of bacteria in the affected organs. Some feel relief with a heating pad or maybe a warm compress in the area of discomfort. And antibiotics, of course, are another standard of therapy. These antibiotics are commonly used for UTI. Sulfamethoxazole trimethoprine, also known as Bactrim, Septra, and veterinary bird sulfa and fish sulfa, amoxicillin, amoxyl or fish mox, ampicillin, fish cillin, cephalexin, keflex or fish flex, azithromycin, zithromax, z or aquatic zithromycin, doxycycline, vibromycin or bird biotic, and ciprofloxacin, cipro or fish flox. For dosages, days taken, side effects and warnings, make sure that you go to doomandbloom.net, use the search en engine, and you'll find the particular antibiotic described in detail in one of our articles. To eliminate the pain that occurs with urination and UTIs, stockpile over-the-counter medications like phenazopyridine, also known as Peridium, Uristat, Azo, a bunch of other brand names. Don't be alarmed though if your patient's urine turns a reddish orange color. It is an effect of the drug and is only temporary. There are a number of natural remedies of course to treat someone with a urinary infection. Vitamin C supplements for example are thought to reduce the concentration of bacteria in the urine. Another home remedy is to take an Alka-Seltzer tablet and dissolve it in a couple of ounces of warm water and pour directly over the urethra. Others include garlic or garlic oil, uh, preferably in capsules, echinacea extract or tea, goldenrod tea, uh, maybe add a little vinegar, one to two tablespoons with that, uva ursi, which comes in tablets, or cranberry, which can be cranberry juice or cranberry tablets. Take any of these remedies up to three times a day and you should get better over time. As with many home remedies though, your experience may vary. In normal times, you should consult your physician. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching.
Now, for more information on UTIs and other medical topics in austere settings, check out our Survival Medicine Handbook 700-page third edition on Amazon or at doomandbloom.net. And don't forget to check out Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits and supplies at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.